Welcome to our homestead. You know, sometimes the most hated jobs on your homestead are the most important jobs. And you just have to buck up and take care of it. For me, it's raking up leaves. And I'll tell you why in a second. Let's go. That's because leaves are so important for us to make compost for our garden. And if I don't make good soil on my homestead, then this is going to suffer and our food supply is going to suffer. So whether that's raking them by hand or using the homemade vacuum bag that we made for our zero turn, go click on that video right here, or some other implement we bought to pick up leaves, it's important that we do it. And that's because it is one of the easiest ways to make compost and make new soil so that you can give back to your garden. Store-bought fertilizers, even if they're organic, wear off pretty quick. But if you're creating good, healthy soil with the things around you, it's gonna be a lot better for your garden and for you. Another job that is terrible that you have to do is weeding. Now, we are working towards having the least weeds in our garden as absolutely possible through many different methods, and I've talked about that before. As you can see down at the other end where our beans were, the grasses got in there and they took over very, very fast while we were on a trip and I couldn't get them out, couldn't get them out on time, they spread, you know how it is. But keeping those weeds out of your garden is extremely important for your garden health. Unless it's something like a dandelion, which people think is a weed, which is actually a really great plant to have around. Don't pick those out. But it's up to us now to buck up and get weeding. So what's our goal on this channel? To always be encouraging, especially for those homesteaders who are not yet on your homestead, who are thinking about it, and those who are just starting. Most of the time, I'm not really talking to the seasoned off-grid homesteaders that are out there. Although I appreciate you're here, we're talking to those who need encouragement just starting out. Because you seasoned homesteaders know that you just buck up and do what you gotta do, no matter what the job is, and no matter how long it takes. So I wanted to have an encouraging talk to bring value for you on this video today, because I'm just gonna be raking up leaves and pulling weeds out of the garden. So here's the deal with the leaves. I've done several videos in the past about leaf composting. So I want you to go check out those videos at the top of the screen right now. I've also talked about methods to keep the weeds out of your garden and what we do to do that, unless we get overrun because we're busy on other jobs. It doesn't always work and you are always going to have to pull those weeds out. And it is extremely important this year that I get these leaves raked up and ready to go into our new Johnson Sioux bioreactor that I'm going to be building for you. If I'm going to build that bioreactor, I need material to put in it, and leaves are number one for me. Of course, we're gonna be showing you what else to add, but leaves are gonna be the base for it. So stay tuned for that video. Now, I did also show you a method by leaving piles of leaves on your property, on your homestead, big piles of leaves on how to attract worms over time. So the leaves break down, the worms come up, they eat the bottom of the layers of the leaves, they're sitting outside so they're getting sun and water, and it creates a ton of worm compost, which is extremely nutritious for your garden. And of course, you can check that video out linked at the top of the screen also. All right, let's get to gathering up this valuable commodity. Now for those of you who are just starting out and your homestead is not a great distance away from a small city, a lot of those people in those cities, in the suburban homes, will rake up their leaves, put them in plastic bags, put them out by the curb. So you can go grab those really easily for some free leaves if you need to. And unlike with grass clipping, it's, it's usually not very dangerous to pick up those leaves and use them for your garden because those trees usually aren't sprayed with anything and those leaves are picked up by hand. With grass clippings, a lot of suburban homes are spraying chemicals on their lawn and you do not want that in your garden. Now, no matter how much you dislike or I dislike a job or task on your homestead, this is lifeblood of my garden. It has to get done, so I guess there's some enjoyment in it after all. 
Have a wonderful and blessed day. Now go check out these videos right here, which give you a lot of great organic gardening tips that we use in our garden. Have a great day. We'll see you on our next video. Bye.